Hello guys, um, this is my 1999 Panasonic CRT TV with um, a Roku streaming device um, connected to it. So how it's set up here is that this, and I have to turn on the lights for this, that this HDMI cable is going all the way down here, going into this thing. This thing I bought about a year ago, it converts a HDMI signal to a composite. And I originally bought it for the Roku so I could um, hook it up to my Samsung VCR and hopefully made some recordings from it. But since I didn't have the remote, um, I cannot switch it to the video in input. But yeah, here it is. This is the HDMI cable going into composite and the composite cable is going through my RF modulator that converts a composite you know, crapping out on me because this power cable doesn't go on too far so it's easy to unplug it. Anyways, um, yeah, that's a composite cable to a coaxial and that's going into the TV. And this is, I'm streaming this photo to it from my phone. And, um, this is a photo of the cool lunar eclipse from a few days ago. And I just have it on my phone here. My hand dandy phone. We can put something else if we want. If we can do anything. This was earlier photo into the eclipse. You can probably can't really see it. Right? Come on. Come on. Come on. This when I try recording before it's bright and one with the light on it's bright. Let me try to dim it real quick. With that setting brightness. Even zero looks crappy on the camera. And we'll just have to live with it. And we'll just have to live with it. Exit. Um, but, yeah. To my video that I want to play real quick. You know what, let's play this. This side by. Yeah, this is the Cybertrace pro the program break that I made from this TV. <laughs> TV is seeing its own self. I may have to turn this. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh, that's depressing. I wonder why the Roku vault is so bright on this. Yeah, that's one I never uploaded. It was a fail. An epic fail. Hey, here's my Philips CD commercial. Oh, darn it, you can't. I can't see it, poo. Oh, no. It's playing itself on the old recording of this TV. And that lagging is from my phone playing it. It just has a rough time. Oh yeah, let's enjoy Daniel time. Well, Mr. Rogers never hooked himself. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this neighborhood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? 
Sorry for the video quality being so laggy. I guess it's just like the casting being laggy. Let's make the most of this. Hey, you could actually sort of see it. Oh crap! It froze there. Since we're together, we might as well. Yeah, you can actually see it. Be mine. Be mine. My neighbor. Trying to point this down so I can't see anything. Oh, yep, this is a good Play it. Uh, that looks Oh, God, that's screaming. Here, let's see if we can get it just right. There we go. Oh, it's sort of. It's kind of loud still. I can never reach it. There we go. There we go. Perfect DTV network. And this is what you would see if you're still watching NYTV on June 12, 2009, when they some stations have shown you when off Kabu they showed this. Sorry for the lagging, people, but this is what they show. I'm sure I did in Zoom. Oh, you can't really see it now. I should have left it in Zoom. No! No! We will not defeat. There, I zoomed in again. I can kind of see it. Mm. Uh, look at the pixels. Let's see if we can see the pixels. Yep, you can see the pixels of this here too. Yeah, you can see the actual pixels. Let's see if we can see the videos. Oh, yep, you can see something. Those are the pixels of the TV. Let's see. Ah. Can't see anything that far. Look, you can see the pixels of how a CRT on it. Oh, my gosh. That zoomed in way too far. There we go. I zoom in a little bit. Wait, that's so funny. You can see the pixels of the TV. Well, not really pixels. They weren't pixels back then. Like, like the modern LCDs and stuff were pixels. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's poo. Oh, what else can you show? Well, we can go on YouTube. Watch the fidget spinner fad by Company Man. If you're interested in companies, yeah, he's a good shoe. Mm. Darn it, this thing's probably got buffered to death, isn't it? Yeah, this probably won't be able to play YouTube channel. Hmm. Well, let's see. And if I disconnect the network, it won't. Yeah, I just screw it. I will try to play a video. It won't work. Oh, the ad did work. Oh, the ad lagged. 
Instagram. No thinking. No rotating. No rotating. There it go. There's a girl set the 240p. 240p will quite you apply to you her in the video. Please don't be screaming at me. Ugh. Ugh, 16. That should be plenty of. Let's turn down the volume on the phone a little bit. Eh, it probably will never load. Um, yeah, it's not gonna load. Sorry. Oh, it did load some. I know. I know. I'm not gonna spoil this. YouTube video about fidget spinners. Half the people on YouTube had a video that featured fidget spinners. Dude Perfect, Jack Films, I Hate Everything. There's people I've never even heard of that got millions of views from fidget spinner videos. They used the sudden popularity of the toy to get views. And I can't blame them for it. It's what people wanted to see. Making videos that people want to see is what YouTube is all about. But I don't want you to think that I'm riding that wave with them, because I'm a little late to the party. If anything, people are sick of hearing about these things by now, and I suspect making a video about them today may even detract viewers. But I'm making it anyway, because this was an interesting phenomenon. It was a fad, not to be confused with a trend. If you want to know exactly what defines a fad, Dr. Dre explains it very well in the song Encore. He says, I'm a trend. Uh, let's skip on. Uh, do, do, do. Come on. Come on, play. Play. of months. Another correlation that may mean something I found in an article from CNBC by Tay Kim. The article talks about the store Five Below and how it was a big seller of the fidget spinner and how their sales saw a significant decrease in June. And in fact, when you look at their stock price from the past few months, it looks very similar to the Google search trend graph, suggesting that Five Below's success this year has Possibly been directly related to the success of the fidget spinner. Now, Watching course, YouTube on the TV. To the TV. Stock price, but it's hard to ignore the correlation. So, my conclusion is that if the Fed isn't completely over. Um, that could be it. So, yeah. Let's go be, let's unpair this. Disconnect. There we go. Let's go go back to the normal Roku screen. And now, there's this. And the Roku screaming at me, remote battery life is dead. Even though it's not dead. Yeah, okay, you can watch YouTube on here if you want. Bye guys, see you in the next episode. Bye.